Hello everyone, it's Teresa again at Carolina Girl Reese. Welcome back. If you're a first time viewer or just happen to stumble upon me and my faithful subscribers, thank you for spending time with me today. Okay, so today I'm going to be making a colorful summer fun wreath using a poof method with double curls. Just no ruffles, just the poof method and double curls. And the reason I like the poof method and most of you will probably do know it. You don't have to do no cutting with it. That's one good thing about it. If you're a beginner, you can always take it out of place and redo it. So here's what we're going to need. My faithful 14-inch frame from Dollar Tree. Um, I've already got the pipe cleaner placed. If you don't know how to do this, I have a tutorial on it. And there's 15 pipe cleaners, a total of 15. You've got nine around the outside two rings. And six on the inner two rings. So if you don't know how to do that, because I didn't in the beginning, you just go check out my tutorial. Tutorial. There I go again. For those of you who've been watching me, I'm saying the wrong word. <laughs> okay. The mesh we're going to be using is this pretty, I found this pretty multicolor mesh. All the colors. I'm going to try to include all the colors in this wreath on here. And this is just a deco mesh. 10 inch from Craft Outlet. All my mesh comes from Craft Outlet today. My favorite online store store for mesh. And all of the mesh I'm using is 10 inches. So I have this for the poof. And then I've chosen a light pink. It's a metallic, metallic mesh. As you can see. And so is this fuchsia. I'm going to use it for the curls. I found this the yellow. The yellow too is a metallic Deco mesh. Only one different here is the purple foil. It's a foil mesh. They were out of the metallic mesh I needed, but this is a foil to do just as good. So there's my four colorful colors for the curls. Okay. And then I've chosen my ribbon, which I always like to show you. It's always a tough decision picking ribbon because there's so many pretty kinds. So I've chose, I've got two flip-flop patterns and sunglasses, one with the yellow and white background here. Then I have just a pink kind of glitter, sparkly, with some different colors of summer. Just reminds me of a beach ball or something. So I've chose those for my ribbons. And then our sign today is gonna be a cute little, which I found at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Hello, summer. So it'll be pretty on there with all the pink, different colors. Okay, and I may, may add a few more, little more decals to it. Decor. Okay, so let's get started. So let me just move this out of the way here. Okay. Put you down so I can see. I hope everybody's having a good morning. It is Wednesday morning as I'm making this tutorial. May the I believe 24th. I'm thinking. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you're having a good Wednesday morning. Okay, so we're a poof wreath. We're method. We're just gonna take our mesh here. Get you where you can see. And on the end of it, kind of just scrunch it up. So any new people, thank you for watching, and I'll try to do my best. Okay. And just find you a place along your wreath frame. I'm going to go about right here. And I'm just going to put it down. Now you can just close it with your pipe cleaner. But what I usually do, you might need a few zip, tie, zip ties. I just use these. It just makes me feel like it's secured in there more. And just wrap it around the ring. In your mesh. And then your mesh. A pipe cleaner does just as good. But I'm just used to this. Okay, let me find my cutters here. Okay, so we get started on the poof now. Isn't this pretty? This reminds me of a rainbow, too. So we're doing 10 inch poofs. And what you want to do is measure you out 10 inches. And we want to skip this first pipe planter here. 
the one that I tied it in at, and go to the next one right here. Tie it in. Do a twist. Okay. Go on to the next one. I'll do about three. the next one got you like a little poof a little bubble like poof do one more can't wait to see this when I get it done all the colors I just love something colorful and bright especially for the summer Okay, so here's your three, the three that I've got done. So you can either do this now or wait till you're finished. What you want to do is open up your poofs. Just open them up. Kind of pull the ends out some. Okay, then it's going to kind of look more like, like that. It's going to be really pretty. Okay. So I'm going to head on and do the rest of the poofs and we'll be back to get started on the curls. Okay, I'm back and I've done the outside for you. All the poofs, see they're all puffed out. And I kind of wanted to just you to go along with me as I make the inside because I wanted to show you, especially if you've never made a poof one, when, when you get to the end of your first row and you're going to go on the inner two rings, that's a little sticky, but bear with me. Make your poof. Measure out 10 inches. Okay. Then you're wanting to bring it up over. Bring it up over. See how? I bring it up over there where you ended. Bring it up over the to the rings. Then you don't want to tie it. You don't want to tie it on the first ring you come to. First pipe cleaner, excuse me. Skip the first pipe cleaner that you come to. And take your poof over to the next pipe cleaner. That's where you're going to tie that one. Does that make sense? You don't want to tie your poof on the first pipe cleaner that you come to. You go over to the next pipe cleaner. So you're skipping the first one you come to, go to the next one. Because at the end, it'll all come out even. Okay? So just keep on going around since you're on the inside. And like I say, some of this mesh does stick. You guys know it. <laughs> and you can always go back after you've done your work here. Straighten it all out. That's one thing about mesh. You can straighten it out, form it, shape it just about however you want. And two, using this poof method, there's not any fraying because you're turning your ends, you turn your ends inside as you're doing your poof. Nothing, guys. I was just thinking while I go as I make my wreath. Have y'all ever, when you're making a wreath and you're looking at it, ain't it amazing how it comes out when you're done and you think, oh man, I done that? <laughs> so like I've always told my viewers, there is no ugly wreath. Every wreath is unique. Just like every person. However you learn to do something that works for you, Call it your way. Come on now. So. It's just amazing too how many wreaths, different wreaths that you can actually make from just one frame. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Out. 
course, I'm going to go back in here and do all the pulling out and separating. apologize that I'm not one of these that well I'm just gonna admit it I mean I do not ha know how to fast forward my when making one of these tutorials and I apologize for that so you know I'm just okay with this way if y'all will bear with me okay, here we are up on the end one so when you get through you're gonna have these six Poofs in the middle, along with your nine on the outside. When I get to the end here, just take this out enough to cut it off. This is where you might want to use another zip tie or a pipe cleaner, either one. Just take that piece and put it through the ring. Flip it over and um, tie it in. I always try to make kind of my clean it up, what you call it, just so to speak. So it'll look nice, even if it is on the back. But you can't even do a do a pipe cleaner there too. Just trim her ends off here. So here she is, the middle, middle and the insides. And you just want to go back and pull out your poofs just like you did on the outside, same way. Okay, so we're ready now to put in the curls. And I remember I'm doing double curls to make it more fuller. So I have chosen my two pinks to be a pair and the yellow and the the purple to go together as a pair. And you can do your own colors, mix and match the way you want. So I'm gonna show you something here that I do when you're making a curl. I mean, I just do this for me. I've never seen it, but it does help <laughs> on the fraying. Okay, on these curls. Sometimes, and by the way, I cut my mesh, all my curls are 10 inches, 10 inches. A piece so and I use with a rotary cutter I have cut these with a wood burner before but I found that it still does kind of fray so whatever you choose but okay my curl here kind of curls I kind of do it lightly I found the less you handle the mesh it does do better but as I'm making my curl and I go up that first side is gonna be turned in so there will be no raffling and then I go to the center, and I get about maybe along before I get to the end. And this might take a little more time, but especially when I sell one, I do like to do this. Clip it there, and your end here that's still raw, just turn it the best you can. It's okay how it looks when you, if you ain't got it straight, because I'm just going to go in a turn and... See how I've got in, in a turn? And I'm just going to go take my clip off and put this part that was clipped in over my curl. Over that end. Kind of got me there. Like, I just kind of tried to overlap. What I really done was overlap that other end. I mean, it does help a little bit in some fraying. I found that it does, but that's just something I do. So don't, no worries. Okay. So I'm going to take this piece I just done, and I, this is why my bow dabber is my friend, because I put her down there while I'm making the other curl. Okay. 
So the other pink is a fuchsia. Over up here. Maybe I can do this a little better and show you. You can even stop kind of halfway there, like you're doing a little wooden ruffle, if you know how to do that style. And just in here, I'm just making a little fold in it to go up to the clip. So I made the fold in it going up to the clip. And fold it again. And with one hand, hold on to the the side you just fold it over. Take your clip out and flip the top over on the one you just rolled up. Like I say, it takes a little more time. It does, but it does it does take care of the fraying a little more. So take it down and however you want to hold these in your hand. Well, if you don't have a Oh, Dabra, you'll have to clip your other one and lay it aside. And then you just want to put your two curls together. Take them out. I usually make an X or whatever you want to call this thing. <laughs> and then just go find your wreath here. I usually work from the inside out. Place your curl in somewhere. Give it about... Careful twist because their ribbon's going in. And I always kind of like to let my curls stand up. So go to the bottom of your pipe cleaner where you tied them in and push it in together. And then they kind of let your curls stand up on their own. I think that I just like that part. Okay. So I'm going to show you one more time how to the fraying. Now this full here has a lot of kind of fray on it. But like I said, this is just my doing. Let me lay something on here so you can maybe see better here when I'm it's just like a making a little small wooden ruffle if you're familiar with that method. I just making my curl going on up here. Maybe get to where you can have enough room to then clipper. Clipper chipper. And then see how much I've got left here. I'm just gonna wanna Fold the end of that in best you can while you're holding it with your fingers. Fold it up to the clip. This is something I taught myself. Take your clip out with your fingers. You can do it. You can work it together. And just put the top part over the part you just rolled up. We're making... It just helps get, see, the fraying's not even showing now on the ends. So that's just something I do. And speaking right quick of why I do certain things, I have a little shop on eBay. I've, ha I've been on there for years making wreaths. And if you're ever interested, go on Advanced Search, type in Teresa's Treasures 2010. I first started out and another little business I was doing. And then I switched over to Reese. And then you should see my store icon. It will say Teresa's Unique and Affordable Reese. If you'd like to check me out, I do free shipping. My Reese are affordable. I try to make them affordable for today's world. I know people like to have things. I know why I do them. Sometimes people can't afford things. So I try to be fair in what I do. Like I said, though, too, my heart's in it. I put my heart in mine. That's what counts to me. Okay, so I would appreciate if ever sometime you want to go on there and just try to find me, see what I got. Like I say, I'm a small shop. I try to keep some wreaths on there. All seasons. You might even see some of these on here that I'm making. <laughs> okay, let me just put our next pair in there. Remember again, if you want them to stand up, go in, push the bottom of your pipe. Just give it a push together. And when you're re done, you can all go back and fix everything if it's not to your liking. There's the other two. Okay. So, we're going to get the end of them. We're going to get the rest of them done. One more thing before I finish up here. See right here where I have two some fraying you can do. I might have told this before in a video. 
See that there? Now this here, what I'll do, I simply take my glue gun and I don't squeeze it a lot. I just run it over the ends of it. It's just enough to come out and seal that. It will seal the fraying off just enough to run across there. And that will stop that from going any further. And when I get the ribbons on there, so you're not going to be able to see what I just done with the glue. So that, that helps too. Okay, let's finish the curls. Okay, so here we got her with all the double curls. She's looking more colorful. Colorful, more full. Now we're going to add on our ribbons. So, in here and I wanted to tell you too, also, in case you wanted to know, the curls, you're going to have 15 sets of curls, meaning a pair, six pair, that, that's two, two ribbons is a pair, and you know that. <laughs> so there's going to be six pair on the inside and nine pair on the outside. And so you're going to need like a total of 30 pieces of mesh cut for your curls. So in case you wanted to know up ahead of time to cut them ahead of time, 30 pieces um, at 10 inches. So, okay. So I want to show you something today. I haven't done before my tutorials, but I think you guys, you guys probably even know this. If you do, I'm sorry. I'm not your teeth. I mean, I'm not trying to be like I know it all. But here's something that I saw a long time ago, and I don't know why I've ever said it, because maybe if you're new, you don't know about it. So, as far as cutting ribbon, and I'm just going to show you here, the row here I got, so I'm going to use a pretty little flip-flop and sunglass ribbon. And my ribbons today I'm using are all one and a half inch, one and a half inches wide. So, to save time, which I know I'm going to need, let's just say, six, six, on the, six pair on the inside, and I'm gonna do some figuring here, okay? Bear with me. So I'm gonna need six of this on the inside and six on the out, I mean, nine on the outside. So I'm gonna need a total of 15 pieces of this ribbon here. So what I'm gonna do to save time, look at what I purchased. <laughs> My ribbon board, yes. <laughs> you can't find these nowhere. This is homemade. <laughs> But you can buy an item. I've seen them. Some kind of material they have for your ribbon. But this is my ribbon board. My own special one I made. <laughs> and it works just as well as the ones you buy. I mean, it really does. You just got to have some sturdy cardboard. So what we're going to do, and if you don't know this, guys, which I'm sure a lot of you do. To get my 15 pieces, I'm just going to take my ribbon. And I put it right here at the top. And my, my cardboard's already measured at 12 inches. My ribbons are always 12 inches. So I just want to take it here and simply just, like this will be one piece, wrap it around to come back around. Making it three pieces. This is better for you to see. Three pieces. Four in the back, coming down to five. Just keep wrapping. Six. But I'll stop at six right now just to show you because I'm going to need more. But see how I've got it all around here? And it does save time, really, it does. So just take where you left off here, since I'm showing you. Cut it off. Cause, and it's okay if you cut it a little scruggly, it's gonna be ducktailed. I need some scissors anyway. Then up here where I, the folded part, just slide it off easy. And you can see the fold right in there at the top. Just scissors in and give it a snip. Now that's a lot faster than 
cutting your ribbon off. And, oops, I forgot the other end. Forgive me. Same with the other end. <laughs> there you go. It's just a lot faster to me. Maybe to you too if you try it. I haven't done it. And then laying them down, each measuring them on the cut on the board. So that set's ready to go. And I'm going to pair that ribbon with the pretty yellow flip-flop print. Isn't that pretty? All these ribbons speak color, speak summer. Same thing. Put on my board maker here. My ribbon maker. My ribbon. I don't, well, what have I got on there? My ribbon board. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I should have my ribbon on my on my holder over here, my wooden ribbon holder. Pull it out, but I don't. Okay, here we go again. This cut off here. No one I know I have to go out and do more, but then where the, uh, or you can even do this. You can even do this. I have done this. Just slide your scissors in. That little, um, little gap area there in the board, you'll find it. Snip it while it's on the board. Forgot to do while I go. Then, I'm going to slide it off. Make sure you still hold it in your hand. So there we go. Making it a whole lot faster. Like I said, I'm sure probably everybody knows that, but if there's that one person out there that didn't, I hope this will help you. So I've got these ready to go on the inside, and I'm going to work with the inside since I'm showing you. Just going to cut another ribbon right now. Now, if you're not familiar with ducktailing, I'll do a simple one for you. Just want to take your ribbon, crease it in the middle, fold it again at the end. If you've never done this, and this is how I learned. To me, I wasn't taught to cut on the closed end, so don't cut on the closed end. I was taught to cut on the end that's open here. So with the open side facing you, just simply go up there and make a, it's hard to show, just make your slant, cut a slant up in your ribbon on the open side. And there you go, there's your ducktail. Okay, so for somebody maybe didn't know that. So, and I haven't got, Let's see. Let me go ahead and duct tail these. If you've got a really good pair of scissors, you can put a couple together. Cut them at one time. So I'm just going to do a couple of ribbons here. Show, just show you. Anybody might be new. If you are, I thank you. Thank you for stopping in on me or maybe just lending on me. <laughs> it's my lucky day. Okay, so put them together, pinch them in the center, and start placing them in your wreath. And I usually go inside out. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> Give your ribbon about three, your pipe cleaner about three or four twists. Make sure they stay in. And I've always told my viewers, I press in on my pipe cleaner some. Because this helps your pipe cleaners. It does to me, it just seems like they stand up better able to stand up better and you and I want mine to stand up and you can just lay them down flat or but I like mine to stand up and then spread them out okay so there's our first one and I think between my mesh and the curls and the ribbons, I've got every color that's in the sign. 
There again, we're just painting this center. Find you a place. Over. Push them down. And you clip them now. I don't want to cut too far. I've done that before. And either I've wanted to put something in them, like maybe another little item or something, or I've cut them too short and they didn't stay. So make sure you don't cut them real short. Okay. So here we go. Is there ribbons how they're gonna look. So we're gonna get them finished. Okay. Okay guys, we've got her done. All the ribbons on the inside and outside now. She is full of colors. Just popping with summer. Speak of summer. So now we're gonna put her sign on. And the one we've chosen here. Hello summer, very pretty sparkles in the summer. Dollar Tree. Um, what I want to say, treasure. <laughs> yeah, you can find some really pretty ones there, I'm telling you. So, I usually put my signs on with adhesive mounts. Y'all might have seen those in some of my tutorials. <clears throat> but I'm out waiting on some to come in. But today, I'm just in the pipe cleaners. And, okay, I just took two pipe cleaners. Thought we got one side done for you. Y'all probably know this. I don't want to tell you. I don't want to make you, I'm not saying you're stupid, nobody's stupid. <laughs> but for those that don't know, done a soft pipe cleaners. I put two of mine together, just twisted them and, and super glued them on. And the reason I use two, you may see some people use one, but I had trouble with just one pipe cleaner. I was always wanting to press my sign down into the wreath when I would pull it, trying to get my pipe cleaner to meet my frame. So. Using two helps me not to mash my um, sign in my frame. So I left one side here. I'm going to show you right here. One thing I do with my signs like this when I do a sign like this. Get you up here good so you can see this. Where I've got this side done. Okay. I'm left handed while I'm turning around, y'all. I just take the pipe cleaner over to... Straighten it out to the other side, and where it ends is where I'm going to place my other one. So it's all ready. Oops. Ready to go and be glued on. So I'm going to place it right in here. Just some glue. I found that this works. It does work pretty good. So all I've sewed, I've never had no complaints about a sign coming apart like this. Just hold in place. Once again, I just want to say thank you all for bearing with me today, putting up with me, and I really appreciate it. And I pray that and hope that good things happen for you today, something good to happen to you, or just something to show my appreciation. And you'll say, well, that was Teresa. Wishing me a good day. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let her dry just a little bit. Make sure. But I did want to show you how, you know, I do mine. To get them even. Or you can use your measuring board, however. And this sign here, she came with the... Still ain't got you good. She came with the top ribbon in her. And I like that. Because I probably will secure it to the top, too. So we're going to go ahead and now do that while this other piece... Dries on my sign. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to kind of give this sign a little slant. Because I think I'm going to put a little more decor on her. So, one second, I'm sure one pipe cleaner. Okay. Put on my ribbon here. Just gonna take it up through here and give it a twist. Okay, then I go down 
through my mesh, find you a place, go down through the mesh. It's okay to insert it down through the mesh, or if you've got a place, you can just go down beside the mesh, but there we go. I'm going to pull it up there. Don't worry about your ribbons and all. You can come back later and fix all those. Okay, so I'm just going to flip her over. And I always use two wires to go around her. It just seems to support more than just tied around one wire. A couple of twists here to make sure it's in and just tuck those down. So since I'm wanting to kind of slant this one some, I'm going to give her a little turn. Okay. Same thing on your sides. Find a place to feed it in. If you have to go down through the, your mesh, wherever, or on the sides, wherever you want to go with it. It is fine. Some. It's hard to get her slanted. Yeah, I want to slant it upside down. You can always, one thing about a sign too, you can always work with it how you want it. They are movable. <laughs> okay. Same thing, found the two rings. Tie around. I've always left my pipe cleaners like this too because I had a lady one time said she wanted to take her, be able to take her sign out and put something in for different seasons. So I've done this that way they can just easily end time with no problem. Come out easy that way. Okay, so let me just look here in a minute right here so I can see exactly how I'm going to slant this one. I'm going to put it like Right there. Okay, take her down on the other side. You can see here, same way you done the other side. Just put the pipe cleaner through anywhere. You can find a, a place to speed her through. There she is. Okay, and you can also clip these off if they're too long. It's for your, it's up to you. I just, for the tutorial, and I'm just going to leave them like that. I'll go back and clean that up. Okay. okay, so I have her on here, but the thing is, I want to go back now. Work with your ribbons and all. Take everything out that you can. Now this place is it. Any mesh or curl is going to be... Your sign's covered up a little bit. It's, it's okay. You can move the ribbons. Uh, kind of... Raise them up with your hands underneath to get them off the sign some so you can see what it says. Have to adjust it. You know, I didn't slant as much as I wanted to, but it's hard to see upside down when I'm trying to show you guys, but I might work with that when I get get it off camera, but so for now, anyway, for now, there she is. See how pretty that sign? I mean, I love it. I love these colors. If I saw this somewhere and I thought, wow, that's me. I'm a sparkle girl. <laughs> how many of you all are? And it does speak summer. Okay, so there she is. I'm going to get down the door for you. So just bear with me. Thank you. Okay, everyone. Here she is on my door, on my wreath door, I call, I call the door my wreath door. 
So here she is all done. I hope that you like her. Somebody likes her. I like her. And I went ahead and added some extra fun decor. This is why it's called a fun wreath. It's, it's a fun time wreath to look at. It reminds you of summer. I've added a little popsicle beach ball, some shades, and even added a little touch of a sun umbrella. Sometimes I'll do that in my wreaths, but I sell them especially just to make them unique. So there she is. I hope you can see her. And as far as the little signs here I put on, I just use a little tad of glue on a couple of them. The glasses, I just use a little zip tie around the frames. And the umbrella's hanging on the little latch on the sign. So I do hope you like her. I really thank you. Thank you for watching today and spending time with me. Like I said, it means so much. And I always want to close with something. Because I just, I'm the type of person I care about people. And I just hope something maybe I say or might help somebody or, or something. <laughs> so today I just want to say, you know, we all have a mirror. And I'm speaking to myself too. We all have a mirror and you know, you know what those mirrors are made for, don't you? <laughs> well, they're made to look into. And when you look in them, what do you see some of you? Sometimes when I looked in mine, I'd say, oh my God, that's me. I look terrible. Or, you know, sometimes maybe, oh wow, I don't look too bad today. <laughs> but we've all thought something when we look in the mirror. So what I'm getting at today is, I just want to let you know, I don't know you personally, but I wish I did. But you are special. You are special. And I don't want to sound like a teacher talking to little kids. I just want you to know that you are special. I'm special for, for a long time in my life. I thought, I ain't nobody. I can't be nothing. I, I'm not a celebrity. Don't really have a desire to be. Um, I don't know. You're just, we all talk different. We all do things different. We all think different. We all like different tastes. And so we're all different. So next time you look in the mirror, I promise you it works. You look in that mirror and you say, you are special. And you are. And you'll start, start believing it soon. <laughs> but I just wanted to say that. Well, you are, you are special. God made us all unique and special. And you viewers, subscribers, you're special to me. So thank you. Have a beautiful afternoon. Thank you for putting up with me. Till next time. Bye-bye.